Hello, 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 and good evening. It is so good to be with you one more time. It's an awesome, awesome opportunity to be able to spend some time with you and to have you spend some time with me. Most certainly, I enjoy every moment of it, every moment that we get to spend together. <laughs> I enjoy every moment of it. And listen, there were some of you that were asking, and you said, Providence, y'all are not on us yet? Well, we're doing a little special program, and so of course we took a little extra time because my husband is on board with me today, and I'm always excited when he joins me, and uh, most certainly he is so full of knowledge and information, and so every now and again, hopefully once a month, he will come on board with me. He will be on the program with me, Apostle Dion Warren Smith, and uh, most certainly it is so, so good to have him with me this evening. Listen, go ahead and share this video. Share this broadcast. Go ahead and share this wonderful time today. Create a watch party. This is going to be awesome. The Lord gave me some prophetic words. The Lord spoke to me and gave me some things to say and I'm going to say it, prophetic utterances, glory be to God, prophecies, most certainly that I am positive will come to pass because it is the word of the Lord. The Lord gave me the word as I was in prayer. And so I want you to go ahead and share this program. Share, share this broadcast today, this one. If you have not shared <laughs> any of the broadcasts before, Go ahead and share this one this evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you that are joining us. Oh my goodness, I am always ex excited, as you can see. I don't know if I ever will lose this excitement. But nonetheless, to God be all the glory for the great things that he has done and is doing and will do. Now, I know we use that term. We say, you know, what he has done, what he is doing, what he will do. Well, of course, God isn't doing anything. He's finished. He's on an eternal rest. <laughs> but of course, it's already done in the spirit realm. Glory be to God, but it's about to be manifested in the natural. So there's some things that God has already done for us in the realm of the spirit. My God. And it is about to be manifested in the natural. We're about to walk it out. So I give God praise and thanks for that. Now listen, a lot of you call me, you send me WhatsApps and, and, and uh, uh, messages via Facebook, and you say, Prophetess, so much of the word that you have given, so much of the prophetic words are now coming to pass. Oh my God. I remember the Lord spoke to me about this coronavirus. Didn't know it by name. He did not give me the name. Uh, but I remember that at least about a year to a year and a half ago, uh, the Lord spoke to me about this uh, virus that was coming in this new disease and uh, uh, was going to affect quite a number of persons and that a lot of them would die from it um, um, and it would present, I think I remember saying, it would have symptoms of the flu, uh, but would not necessarily be the flu. And you know what? I, I really was, was uh, uh, because a prophet most of the time, you don't really remember all of the words that you give. You know, we're still human beings, man. <laughs> and so somebody called me the other day and said, Prophetess, you remember you gave this word. And uh, she called and she said, could you tell me which program, what program I can look it up because I want to look for the word so I can reshare it. I want to share it. And so I said, I said, boy, hon, I don't know. I really can't tell you uh, which program because <laughs> it's been so many programs. Uh, but you can most certainly uh, hit me up on YouTube. Prophetess Patrice Smith, Prophetess Patrice T. Smith on YouTube, and uh, you'll be able, I'm sure, to go through uh, uh, my uh, various videos and prophetic words, prophecies, and, and, and of course, if you want to reshare it, that's fine. If you want to share it for the first time, that's fine too. Glory be to God, but definitely tonight, share this program. Welcome, 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 all of you, those who are just joining us now. Welcome to this live broadcast. Oh my goodness, it is going to be good tonight. So create a watch party, share this, uh, call your family and friends and let them know Prophetess Patrice T. Smith 
is live on Facebook and there is a word from the Lord. I am always, always, always happy to have you join me. Uh, I, I see it as a privilege, most certainly, um, because you could be doing anything else. I always say you could be watching anything else. Uh, you could be anywhere else, but you chose to join me tonight. And of course, my wonderful husband, Apostle Dion Warren Smith, that's also joining me tonight. And for those of you who are being a financial blessing to this ministry, oh my goodness, we are so thankful to God for you. We praise God for you. Glory be to God. You are a part of the mechanism. You're the wheels on this bus that keeps us going. Glory be to God. And of course, uh, we're not just pastors. We're not uh, are just ministers of the gospel. We're also evangelists, missionaries. We travel. My husband and I, we go to different parts of the world, of course, uh, preparing to do another missions trip very soon to Africa. We'll be letting you know. And so, of course, there are persons uh, uh, that sow into our ministry, that sow into our trips, that sow into the word. And so we so appreciate you. We honor the Lord for you. Keep doing what you're doing. Trust me, you're going to be blessed because of it. Glory be to Jesus. And so, you know, there are new persons who are coming on and you're saying, uh, Prophetess, how could we be a blessing to this ministry? How can we sow into this ministry? Had a few persons call the other day that said we want to be monthly partners to this ministry. We are so thankful for all of you. And so most certainly, if you would like to come on board and be a monthly partner to Patrice T. Smith Ministries International, Moments with the Prophetess, or even to our, our ministry here in Nassau, Bahamas, Kingdom Explosion Ministries International, which is our church, our fellowship. If you want to be a blessing to us, in particular to our feeding program, we feed every Sunday afternoon. Every individual that comes to church every Sunday after church, we feed them. We are a blessing to them. Uh, if they need clothes, we give them clothes. There's some of them, we even give them money, finances, because sometimes, you know, for instance, they may need some cash up front. And so we lift offerings, most certainly. We bless them financially. And so we give God thanks. So if you want to be a part of that, that part of our missions arm, you want to be a part of that, you say, Prophetess, I want to sow into the missions arm of your ministry or your church or your fellowship. Uh, do call us. Anybody that wants to sow into this ministry, uh, give us a call. We'll give you all of the information and our number to call. It's just one number here in Nassau, uh, Bahamas. And that number to call is, if you're outside of the Bahamas, that number is area code 2 Four two eight two three six four nine eight. Again, that's area code two four two. Anywhere outside of the Bahamas, eight two three six four nine eight. If you're in the Bahamas, we have some Bahamians that also uh, so into this ministry. And so if you want to come on board, you're in the Bahamas and you want to join us, just call us at 823-6498. Listen, God will bless you for it. Your life will never be the same. And most certainly, the Bible says, if you give a prophet of the Lord, glory be to God, even a cup of cold water, hallelujah, you shall receive a prophet's reward. And this is an authentic ministry. Glory be to God. I am a true prophet of the Lord. And uh, there's no doubt in the minds of our followers. Uh, most certainly no doubt in my mind. I've been a prophet of the Lord uh, operating in the ministry and the office of the prophet from I was 27 years old. I'm almost 60. Glory be to God. And so, of course, this is a, an authentic ministry. Glory be to God. And uh, you can feel safe. You can feel comfortable sowing into this ministry. Uh, most certainly, again, if you want to sow into Kingdom Explosion Ministries International, uh, Patrice T. Smith Ministries International, or Moments with the Prophetess, give us a call. Again, if you're calling outside of the Bahamas, area code 242 eight two three six four nine eight we'll put it on the screen at the very end area code two four two eight two three 
242-823-6498. If you're in the Bahamas, go ahead and share this number. Go ahead and share all of my Bahamian uh, family and friends. Go ahead and share this number. If you're in, to, in the Bahamas, just say, listen, this is the number that you need to reach Prophetess Patrice T. Smith. And so in the Bahamas, it's 823-6498. To God be all the glory, the Lord will bless you for it. And we give God thanks for all of you. Again, this is going to be an interesting program today. You got to share this one. You got to share this one. This is going to be interesting. Glory be to God. And most certainly, I want to welcome, just before I open in prayer, I want to welcome my husband, uh, Apostle Dion Warren Smith. My goodness. It's good to have you on board today. Amen. Go ahead and greet the people. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here one more time. I have to, to share with my lovely wife. Yeah, she does look pretty in this peach, amen. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a pleasure to, um, to give God glory in, in what we're doing. But um, like like Prophet said, said um, stay tuned. Listen closely. Invite your friends. Um, um, share this message because God has a word for you today. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Short and sweet. Okay, <laughs> let us pray. Father, we thank you right now for what your people are about to hear, what they're about to receive. We thank you, Lord, because you're going to expand and you're going to expound your word. Glory be to God through us. We thank you that you will expand, expound the mind of your people. We thank you, Lord, because they will believe and therefore they will receive. Father, we thank you tonight for lives that will be changed. We thank you tonight that soul for souls that will be brought into the kingdom. We thank you tonight for bodies that will be healed. Amen. We thank you tonight for men and women, boys and girls that will be delivered. We thank you for the advancement and expansion of your kingdom yes. because of this word tonight. And so we give you praise. Father, touch every listener. Glory be to God, every viewer. Touch them now, Lord God, even those who will listen even after this program is off the air. But we thank you, Lord, because there is no distance in prayer, and most certainly there is no time limit on the anointing. And so, Lord, let them feel your presence, even as, as they watch this. It may be years down the road, but, Father, let them feel your presence. Glory be to God. Let them experience your touch. Hallelujah. Those who are lost, let them come to know you and accept you as Savior and Lord of their lives. Those who need deliverance that are bound, Father, bring freedom. Glory be to God. Those who are in need of healing, touch their bodies now and bring healing. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Amen. the Son of the living Praise God. The Lord. Amen. 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 To Amen. God be all, all the glory, the glory. And all the honor. And all the honor. Amen. For the Amen. great things. That he has done. I'm going to turn it over to you, baby, in just a little bit. Yeah, but ahead. let me let me just say, glory be to God. And what I suggest you do, uh, those of you who are uh, watching this, this broadcast, and like I said, you would ask and you would say, Prophetess, uh, I heard when you, I remember when you prophesied this and it's now coming to pass. Could you send that video to me again? Glory be to God. What you could do is also make an audio recording so that you will have that on hand. Glory be to God. It'll be easier for you to retrieve it. Glory be to God, because I'm about to give you eight uh, prophetic words from the Lord. Eight, God, I feel the anointing just saying that. Eight prophetic words from the Lord. Glory be to God. And even as I was in prayer, and as Holy Spirit began to speak to me, glory be to God, and I began to write, even as he spoke, I felt the anointing of the Lord, which is the power of God. I felt his presence. Glory be to God. I felt his approval. Glory be to God. And so therefore, I want, because the prophetic word is so that you can be prepared. It gives permission. It's just permission. It's just showing you what God has in store. Or it's just showing you what's getting ready to happen. Glory be to God. Now, there are some, <coughs> excuse me. There are some prophetic words, glory be to Jesus, that as the Lord gives them to us, I don't know why every time I start to prophesy, for some reason, my voice acts up. You know what it tells me? Yeah. It tells me that boy, some witches are fighting. I, I don't know why. I, I just don't know why they try to fight every time. Listen, y'all listen, witches, get a message and get a quick, quick message. Go, keep going. Move, move on. Just keep going. Don't send anything this way. Don't release nothing because you can't stop nothing. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we give God thanks for what he is saying and for what he is doing. Glory be to God. And, and I'm not I'm not silly and, and nor am I naive. Yes. I do know that there are witches that tune into this program yes. and they yes. tune in regularly. Amen. Glory yes. be to God. Yes. That's all right. That's all right because my <laughs> prayer is for you to get saved. Amen. Delivered, delivered. Glory free. be to God. In the name of Jesus. God I feel the anointing. In the name of Set Jesus. free and delivered. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. <clears throat> Thank you Holy Ghost. I ain't going to ask God to kill you. No. I ain't going to ask God to save you. And deliver you, glory be to God, so Amen. that you can become a witness, yes. hallelujah, of his goodness, hallelujah. So there's eight things, eight prophetic words, glory be to God, that the Lord would have you to hear tonight. And uh, I'm going to start with my country, the Bahamas, glory be to God. I'm a Bahamian, <clears throat> so I'll start with the Bahamas, glory be to Jesus. And I want you to hear this very clearly. And I'll start from the very top. Glory be to God, I'm going to start specifically with our governing party. And as I was praying, glory be to God, and I'm, I'm going to try and not get excited. I'm going to try and calm right down today <laughs> so you can hear and understand what the Lord is saying. God, I feel your presence. I feel Amen. your anointing. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. And the Lord says, tell the free national movement. For those who are watching us from all around the world, I have sons and daughters in Africa that are watching us. Glory be to God. People all around the world watch this program. So for those who are outside of the Bahamas, the Free National Movement is the governing party in the Bahamas. Now the Lord is speaking specifically to the Free National Movement. Glory be to God, which is our government, our governing party here in the Bahamas. Glory be to God. And the Lord says to tell you, that your pride and your arrogance has reached his nostrils. Oh, Praise God. I hear Father say to you, I am about to crush and destroy the spirit of pride and arrogance from among you. Glory be to God. Hey, Hallelujah. I am going to bring some of you to open shame and disgrace Amen. before the next election, yes. says the Lord. Yes. Yes. For I hear the Lord say, glory be to... Now I hear some people, I, I, I literally just heard the mind of somebody, because as a prophet you can hear minds as well. And I literally just heard the mind of somebody say, well, prophetess, and you say the Lord put them in. I sure did. Glory be to God. I sure did. I was one of the first ones that prophesied in the Bahamas that the free national movement would win the government. Glory be to God. And I was called a false prophet. I remember that part because so many people were prophesying that the progressive liberal party, which was the governing party of that time, would win again. But I knew that I heard the voice of the Lord. And not only, glory be to God, did I proclaim and prophetically declared that the free national movement would become the government. That was 2017, was it? Yes. Glory be to Jesus. I could take you to the spot. Hallelujah. In New Providence where I was sitting in my vehicle. When the Lord spoke to me, I was on one of our local beaches. Glory be to God. And the Lord said to me, and I've said this over and over for, again for those who follow my ministry. The Lord said to me, he said, I will destroy the progressive liberal party and I will raise up the free national movement and they will come in to govern Amen. the nation. I heard that. As a matter of fact, I heard that I think it was 2015, yes. 2016, remember. there about. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But listen, a prophet, a true prophet of God has no allegiance to anybody first other than God. Hear me and hear me clearly. Those of you who are comfortable and it's your life duty to wear a yellow shirt or a red shirt. Those who are watching us outside of the Bahamas, the progressive liberal party, their main color is yellow. And the free national movement, their main color is red. I do not subscribe to any of that. I am a prophet of the Lord. Glory be to God. And my allegiance is to God, Yahweh Elohim first. Glory be to God. And as I was praying, 
And yes, I'm hearing somebody else. They said, but didn't you say you voted for them? I sure did. I voted for the free national movement because that's what the Lord told me to do. He said, I want you to vote for the free national movement because they will become the next government. And I am an obedient servant of the Lord. Glory be to God. However, I will not function in the spirit of compromise. compromise because the spirit of compromise will land you in hell. Glory be to God. Ezekiel said, if you know about wickedness in a man's life and you do not confront it, he said, the blood of that man will be on your hands. So as a prophet of the Lord, I will not have anybody's blood on my hand. Glory be to God. And so, so even as I was praying, the Lord says, free national movement government in particular, our prime minister and deputy prime minister. Glory be to God. The Lord said, consider your ways. You are weighed in the balance and you are found wanting, says the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Matter of fact, the Lord reminded me, and I'm going to re-mention it because I said it before. And the Lord said, you will know that this is a true prophet of the Lord. And you will know that the word of the Lord, hallelujah, is to you. Because there are some of you, glory be to God. See, I live in the Bahamas. And so I see FNM politicians all the time. And they say, Providence, we heard the word that you gave. One of them said to me, we're going to try and obey the word. Glory be to God. But some of y'all are puffed up in pride. And pride is going to cause y'all to lose your seat. Many of you in the free national movement will not be returned to the House of Parliament. God said he has already judged you and he has already sat you down in the realm of the spirit. So hear me and hear me clearly. Prime Minister Minis, Deputy Prime Minister, glory be to God, turn quest. With all due respect, the Lord says, glory be to Jesus, consider your ways. And that's not just both of you. That is the entire free national movement government. Now, let me say this just in case you think, oh, she switched to the PLP. I got a word for the PLP, which is the progressive liberal. Hallelujah. Which is the progressive liberal party. But I ain't talking to them yet. I'm talking to the free national movement. Glory be to God. And the Lord reminded me. He said, I'm about to speak to the free national movement. And I will remove, and I've said this over and over again, I will remove a high-ranking member. And I will remove him by death. And I will remove him before the next election. And it's going to shock the party. But I hear the Lord say, your pride and your arrogance has risen to my nostrils, says the Lord. And whenever anything rises to God's nostrils, Judgment is imminent. Glory be to Jesus. So I hear the Lord say, consider your ways. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, I will judge. And this judgment will not be by death. There's one he will remove by death. But this one, God says, I will judge a high level politician in the free national movement. Glory be to God. And I will bring him. To open shame and disgrace, says the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I hear share this video. Share it. Glory be to God. Oh my Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Share it. So the Lord says to the free national movement. Glory be to God. You are going, glory be to God, to lose many seats. But the Lord says, you are weighed in the balance. He said, repent, glory be to God. Go back to your first works. Go back to your first love. Go back to your initial assignment. Unless I will strip you, I will bring you to open shame and disgrace. And I will remove you out of office, says the Lord. Glory be to God. And even as I was praying, I already know that I already know the members of parliament is going to lose their seat. I know you because the Lord already gave me your names. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So some of you don't waste your time. Glory be to God. Campaigning is going to be a waste of time and money because you're going to be removed. Glory be to God. But I hear the Lord said, repent of your pride and your arrogance. Glory be to Messiah. Go back to your initial assignment. Go back to your first love. Go back to what you started with, says the Lord. And I will remember you again. Glory be to Jesus. Now let me move on over to the progressive liberal party. The Lord said, hallelujah. And I am not a supporter of persons. Glory be to God. I am not a supporter of persons. I am a prophet of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I speak as the Lord tells me. Glory be to God. I swear no allegiance to no man above God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yahweh Elohim comes first. He is a jealous God. And so him alone and him first will I obey. Glory be to the God, to the Lord God Almighty. So the Lord said to me, he said, remind them of the word that I gave to them. Glory be to God. And I got to say it again. Progressive liberal party. Glory be to God. The Lord says to tell you, check your motives. You will not be returned to government until your motives are right. Check your motives, says God, which means check your heart. Yes. Glory be to God. Check your heart. What is the reason why you want to be returned to government? Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord reminded me. He said, speak very clearly as I spoke to you. And I remember from the very beginning when I prophesied and I said, that the Lord will remove the progressive liberal party. And then he said to me, I will use Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin to reform the progressive liberal party. Now that's the word of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I am not a supporter of people. I don't want nobody to think that because she's a woman or because I know her. Glory be to God. got nothing to do with that. Matter of fact, I don't even know her that well. Glory be to God. But the Lord says, I will use her to reform the progressive liberal party. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord speaking to the DNA. Glory be to God. The Lord says, clean up your house. Clean up your house. Amen. There's some agendas that you have that are hidden. And the Lord says you will never see government in this country until and unless you clean up your house. Glory be to God. So all of you politicians in the Bahamas that have hidden and private agendas, God's getting ready to expose you, says the Spirit of the living God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I give God thanks. And then even as the Lord took me, he started taking me into government ministries. But I heard very clearly, woe unto you, Department of Immigration. Glory be to God. For God says your corruption has reached my nostrils, says God. Ah, oh, Jesus. And I had to write it down because I didn't want to miss nothing. Glory be to God. And I saw as he showed it to me, I saw much upheaval in the Department of Immigration in the Bahamas. Glory be to God. I saw much exposure. I saw much underhanded deals. Glory be to God. As I sat, I saw just hands under tables. And the Lord says, I'm getting ready to expose from the top to the bottom. Glory be to God. And the Lord says top level officers. Shall be removed. Shall be asked to resign. Shall be forced to resign. And some will be fired. Says the Lord. Glory be to God. For the Lord says the corruption has reached.
reach my nostrils. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I am And I hear God say, I'm getting ready to deal. I'm getting ready to deal. Glory be to God. With the public hospitals authority here in the Bahamas. Glory. I'm getting ready to expose. There is corruption. And I'm getting ready to expose it. Say the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I hear the Lord. He said, tell the people. Those who are not in the ark of safety. Get in the ark of safety. Glory be to God. I'm not disrespecting what any of the health officials says. I know what the Lord said. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he said it to me at least two years ago. Glory be to God. And the Lord says, tell the people that are not in the ark of safety. Get into the ark of safety. In other words, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you better get to know him. Glory be to God. And those of you who are in the ark of safety, glory be to God. I heard the Lord say, cover yourselves daily. Read Psalm 91 daily. For the rest of this year, cover yourselves in Psalm 91. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I listen. I know what the Lord said. And the Lord said, he said, tell them that yes, the Bahamas will be touched by the coronavirus. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Glory be to God. He said, yes. And he said, those that will be affected the most, glory be to God, cover your children because I see young people and babies, glory be to God, cover your children, hallelujah, pray and cover your children in the blood. And you can't do that if you don't know Jesus. So you got to first cover yourself. You got to first get yourself secured in the ark of safety. You got to first know Jesus Christ for yourself. Glory be to God. Anoint your children as they leave the house to go to school. Anoint them. Because the Lord says the areas that will be touched most will be young people and children and babies. And God says, yes, there will be deaths in the Bahamas from the coronavirus. I asking you nothing. I'm telling you. Glory be to the Holy Ghost. So cover yourselves with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself daily. Read Psalm 91. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And then as I was praying, the Lord took me. Hallelujah to the Caribbean. And he said, woe unto you, Jamaica. For I am getting ready to deal with you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And even as I saw this. I'm talking about the nation of Jamaica. Even as I saw this, glory be to God, I saw houses falling out of the mountains. Glory be to God. And the Lord said there is about to be a strong earthquake that will hit Jamaica. And the Lord says many will die. I hear the Lord say, prepare yourselves. But I hear the Lord say, pray and cover yourselves those of you who are children of God in the country of Jamaica. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Cover yourselves. Those of you, because there are many of you that watch this program from Jamaica. Cover yourselves and cover your, my God. Listen, cover your children. Cover your animals. Because even as I saw this, the Lord told me, he said, he said, daughter, I am saying it to you to tell them because it will happen. Prepare yourselves, says the Lord. The Lord, for I will speak to Jamaica and I will speak strongly, says the most high God. Glory be to the mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I hear the Lord as he moved me to the world stage. Glory be to Jesus. And I began to write. 
Lord was speaking so fast, I had to write. I, some of these, I could hardly understand my own writing. I was writing so fast. Glory be to God. And he said, tell the United States of America that I have ordained, I have called, I have chosen, and I have appointed President Donald J. Trump. And I, says the Lord, he didn't say the people, as I heard him, he said, and I will return him to office. Now, I don't care what CNN says. I don't care what anybody else says. I know what the Lord says. Glory be to God. And he said, my servant, Donald J. Trump, shall be returned to office. And I hear the Lord say, glory be to God. He said there are factions within the Democratic Party that's pulling, pushing a hidden agenda. But God says, I will expose it, says the Lord. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, even after the winning of the White House again, being returned to the White House again, there will be pushings for mass riots. There will be pushings for protest. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it will come from deep within the Democratic Party. The upper echelon. But I hear the Lord say, I will expose and judge every one of them. For I am returning him to office, says the Lord. Glory be to the mighty God. And as the Lord was talking to me about the United States of America, he said, I am beginning once again to bring forth godly principles. Glory be to God. Amen. And yes, hear me, hear me. It shall not last forever. It shall not even last for a long time. But God says, I'm opening a door for a while. So that the gospel of the kingdom shall go forth and souls shall be saved. Because there's about to be massive revivals that will break out all across the United States of America. Glory be to Jesus. And I hear the Lord say, hallelujah. He said, I am returning him as a Cyrus to oversee this move. Glory be to God, says the Lord. And I hear the Lord say, glory be to God. Those that come against him, those that oppose him, I will judge and some of them, I will judge them by death, says the Lord. Glory be to God. And even as the Lord showed me, and I don't know this individual, glory be to God. I only know him by watching him on television. But I know the voice of the Lord. And I hear the Lord say, there will be a high-ranking Republican that will die. Glory be to God. But I hear the Lord say, Lindsey Graham, Senator Lindsey Graham, glory be to God. And even as the Lord gave me his name, I had to go and look it up so I could attach the face. The Lord said, Senator Lindsey Graham, prepare yourself for the new move for top leadership in the Republican Party. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. For the Lord says, I am moving. I am moving my Cyruses into position. Glory be to the mighty God. Hallelujah. And even as he was talking to me, thank you, Holy Ghost. He said to me, he said, tell the body of Christ, in the United States of America in particular. Tell the body of Christ. In the United States of America. In particular those of you. That are apostles. And prophets. And pastors. And teachers. And evangelists. And bishops. And elders. Glory be to God. God says I have ought against some of you. Glory be to Jesus. For you have moved away from the landmark. You moved away from the original teachings of the apostles. You moved away. Glory be to God. 
and you have extended boundaries without my permission, says the Lord. And so therefore, says God, I am getting ready to move in the upper echelon of Christendom in the United States of America. And I will move quickly and I will move by death and it shall be suddenly, says the Lord. Even as he said this to me, I saw a great general, a great general in the body of Christ. In the United States, I know who it is. I saw the face. I saw Kandobo Shanda Mandelebo Hoya. I saw a great general in the body of Christ, one that is known to the world and one that is known to television. And the Lord says, I will take him home this year, and it shall be the beginning of this word that has just been released. Glory be to God. So the Lord says, those of you in Christendom, in particular on television, and as the Lord was talking to me, he showed me different television networks. And I went behind the scene in the spirit and the Lord showed me the dirt. And he, oh God almighty, I am under Kosaya. He showed me the sin. Glory be to God. He showed me the compromise. Yeah. Glory be to God. He showed me the fornication. He showed me the adultery. He showed me the homosexuality. God says, I am getting ready to expose. I am getting ready to judge. And it shall be openly. Says the Lord. Glory and Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord says, even this year, there shall be much shock and surprise in the body of Christ in the United States of America. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. A big name preacher, a big name preacher in the United States of America, you're about to be exposed and nobody's going to be able to give an excuse because you're going to be caught with your male lover, says the Lord. Glory be to God. The Lord says, clean up your act or get out of the pulpits. Clean up your act or get out of the pulpit, says the Lord. Glory be to God. And even as the Lord took me back to the pulpits in the Bahamas, he said to me, he said there are three top pastors in this country. Three of them. Glory be to God. I shall deal with them this year. This year of 2020. Three top pastors in the Bahamas. Three of you. Glory be to God. Two of you shall die and one shall be exposed openly, says the Lord. Glory be to God. For you have misled my people, says the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. You will know whether I am a true prophet of the Lord or not. You will test this word. You will live to see this word come to pass. Glory be to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. For these are the end times. For these are the last days. And God himself is doing the separation. Glory be to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And as he took me back to the world stage, glory be to God, he said, daughter, tell Hollywood there are more deaths to come. More shall die in Hollywood. Within the next two years, there shall be more sudden deaths in Hollywood than there's ever been before. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Write this word down. Glory be to God. God says, I'm going to visit Hollywood. And I will visit by death. There's about to be a major star that's getting ready to die. This year, it's going to shock Hollywood. This very year, 2020. Glory be to Jesus. I hear the Lord speaking to you. Those of you in Hollywood, whether you're an actor, whether you're a singer, 
Whether you are a producer, a model, whatever you are, a writer, director, whatever you are, get your houses in order. For the Lord says, some of you will die. Or some of you that will die, he said to me, you will not inherit eternal life. I saw it as clear as day. I saw one of them dying and I literally saw when he plunged into hell. I literally saw when he fell into the fire. Glory be to God. The Lord says, Hollywood, get your houses in order, says the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Even as I prayed and even as he spoke to me, glory be to God. He said, tell Christians, tell my children all around the world, cover your president, cover your prime minister, cover your leader, cover. Because there's about to be a major assassination of a major leader internationally. He shall be assassinated, says the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Cover your leaders, says the Lord. Glory be to God. This one shall happen, says the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for what you've said tonight by way of prophecy. I thank you, Father, for the instructions that you have given. And Father, we will obey. Glory be to God. We promise we will obey. Glory be to God as your children. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because he said, my sheep know my voice. Glory be to God. So those who are the sheep of God, who knows his voice, will obey the word of the Lord. Because the voice of another, they will not follow. Glory be to Jesus. So I pray that you are obedient to this word. I pray that you are obedient to the Lord. Hallelujah. I didn't say be obedient to me. I'm only the mouthpiece of the Lord. Be obedient to the word of God. Share this broadcast. Make an audio version of it so that you can have it on hand. Write things down that you hear. Tweet some of the things that you hear. Share this one. Share this as much as you possibly can with all of your contacts. Glory be to God. All of you that are watching me all around the world, share this video tonight. Or, or this morning, whenever it is you're watching it. So I do believe it's morning in some countries. I know, as a matter of fact, it's morning in some countries and then it's evening of the next day. Glory be to God. Share this. Glory be to God. Share this video. You are going to see this word. Hallelujah. Come to pass. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for it now. We thank you because nothing happens in the earth unless you first reveal it to your servants, the prophets. And so we thank you, because you didn't have to reveal it, Father. You did not. Glory be to God. You don't owe any man anything. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But because you've locked yourself into your word, and you said, because you are now my friends, I will share my secrets with you. So I thank you for sharing this word with me, Father, that I can share with your people that they can be prepared. I give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All right. Well, I'm going to welcome my husband. Glory be to God. Uh, uh, praise Apostle the Lord. Dion Warren Smith. Yes, um, and uh, baby, just talk as the Lord lays. Yes, what, it's very powerful what you... Glory be to God. The Lord used it to other, to the people. Yes. And um, I, I, I want to admonish you not to take it for granted. Yes. Um, Holy Spirit, yes. That there are prophets... God, God's a, God have sent us a prophet Jesus. through Prophet Patrice Smith. And, and we need not take it for granted. We need not say, oh, she's a woman. But what she's saying, yeah, she's God's servant. Jesus. First and foremost, she's God's servant. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Um, so some people are listening. Lord, and, you're, and you're harden your heart because of what you saw. My God. You harden your heart because of what she was saying. Jesus. I want to give an opportunity right now to repent. My God. Ask God, Lord, forgive me. 
Yes, Jesus. When the when Holy Spirit is speaking, it doesn't matter who he uses. One time ago, the Bible used a donkey. That's right. Sure did. It doesn't matter who he uses. We should have air to listen. The fact that you are listening now, Holy Spirit of Germany, you can listen to this broadcast. Yes, amen. So what I, what I, what I would, um, um, would like to say also is that there's some pastors watching. My God, and yes, you're they, right. They've become very complacent. Yes, you're very um, right. They are, they are, they are, their motives have really changed. My God, Jesus. Instead of seeking God's face, uh, ambitious have been turned to seek uh, um, uh, fil filthy lucre. There money. you go, there you go. Mammon. My Lord. <laughs> you know? And uh, we have allowed ourselves to be introduced to mammon. My God. Money. You have chosen mammon over God. My God. You're watching. You're watching this this broadcast right now, Jesus. and, and you, you felt you felt moved in your spirit. Yeah, God's talking to you. Yes. God's God's talking to you because He wants a change to come about. Yes. A change in your heart, change in your life, a change in your message. Yes. You become complacent as a leader. Of God, people, you, 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 you stop all the cords. Jesus, well, there's my one God. watching. You used, used to be on fire for God. My God, it's like a firecracker. You've lost your fire. Jesus, because your modes have changed. Lord God Almighty, what's going to happen right now? When I want you to stretch what um, forth your hand right now, I want yes. you to touch your phone or wherever you're watching your device. Yes, and I'm going to ask prophets to pray for you right now. Jesus. Watch you humble yourself. Yes. Humble yourself. My God. It's not about us. Yes. It's not about the politician. It's not about the, uh, the, the church leaders. Yes. Those in society. It's all about Jesus. That's right. Amen. What we're doing, we're pointing you back to Jesus, especially those in Jamaica. I felt, I felt, Ooh. I felt that. Yes, Lord. I My felt God. that message. Yes. When she said the house would be, some house would fall off the mountain, I literally started falling. I said, Jesus, I've been in the mountain of Jamaica. You know, Jesus, you didn't want the house fall from, from those mountains. My God. You're listening. Put your hand on your devices. Pop's going to lead you in a prayer. Yes. A recommitment. Jesus. Amen. And, and, and something's going to happen. Oh You're going to feel Holy Spirit yeah. touch you, ignite you. Amen. Revive you. Right now, I'm going to ask prophets to stretch forth a hand, hand right now. Jesus. The, the device, and, and we, we're going to pray corporately. She's going to yes. pray for you. Thank uh, you. And I'm going to agree with her as she prays. Yes. yes. She's, she's feeling this. Yes, my God, yes. As a prophet, she's feeling this. Yes, Amen. Jesus. Yes. So I want you to touch your device right now. Yes. Amen. And ask God, and, and let's pray. Yes. And agree with her as she prays. Yes. yes. Glory be to God. Yes. Glory be to God. And, and, and I don't want you to think, hallelujah. Yes, of course, I do talk a little hard. Glory be to God. But I don't want you to think for one minute, glory be to God, that I'm talking void of love. Hallelujah. It is because I love you. It is because I love those, glory be to God, who are straying away. Hallelujah, that I say to the Lord, I will still speak. Glory be to God. Sometimes I'm speaking alone. Glory be to God. Sometimes I'm speaking amidst persecution. Glory be to God. Sometimes I'm speaking amidst being called a false prophet. Glory be to God. Sometimes I'm speaking amidst, glory be to God, persons shutting me out and saying, you know, don't speak with her. Don't congregate with her. Don't invite her to your church. Glory be to God. The things that I go through, you would never know. Glory be to God, but I've said to the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, for God I live, for Christ I live, and for Christ I die. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. And, and, and you were saying, glory be to God, that there was a pastor, hallelujah, and I felt that even as you said it. Glory Amen. be to God. There. You started out on fire for God, but you got in the wrong circle. Glory be to God. You started out on fire for God. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, you are an apostle. You are an apostle of the Lord. Glory be to God. You didn't just give yourself the name apostle. You are a called, truly a called apostle of the Lord. Amen. You should be flowing in signs and wonders. I just read today as I was sitting on the beach talking to the Lord. And I, the Lord said to me, go to Acts chapter 5. 
And he said, this is what is getting ready to come back to the earth and getting ready to come back to the church. And of course, it starts with the story of Ananias and Sapphira. Glory be to Jesus. But what got my attention, hallelujah, was that there would be people, the Bible says in Acts chapter 5, read it, glory be to God, that would be in the streets, glory be to God, just in case Peter those pass, hoping that their very shadow, glory be to God, hallelujah, would bring healing to their bodies. You could imagine, hallelujah, apostles, that their very shadow brought healing to those who were sick, those who were bound, my God Almighty, those who were in need of salvation, glory be to God, those, my God, who needed to see the kingdom in operation, the very shadow of Peter and the other apostles, glory be to God, at times they would give handkerchiefs, glory be to God, Peter and Paul and the other apostles, they would give pieces of clothes, my God, and people would be saved, healed, and delivered by just resting those pieces of clothes on their bodies. God wants that to come back to the church. In particular, if you know that you're called to the office of the apostle. Now, there are many of you, and that's another thing Holy Spirit said. He said there are many people that are calling themselves and giving themselves titles that I know nothing about. I have not called them, nor did I give them titles. Lord Jesus, <laughs> what this is. I try not to go too in depth. Glory be to God. There's some of y'all got bishop on your name. God ain't call you. Now I know the Bible says if a man desires the office of a bishop. Glory be to God. But if you were to read the other prerequisites for a bishop and you look at your life, you would know that you are not lining up. Glory be to God. And then there's some of you that are calling yourself apostle and prophet. And my God Almighty, it is an office that carries great weight and responsibility. You don't even know the requirement of the office. My God. And the Lord says to tell you, humble yourselves. My, you know, there's a term they use in the Bible. They say, sit small, tell your name, God. Yeah, Glory be to God. Humble yourself. If I could use that term in love, sit small until your name is called. Glory be to God, because the minute you call yourself something that you are not, you attract demons that you cannot fight. There are spirits that are assigned to offices. Remember the girl that was following Paul, those mm -hmm. that was speaking the spirit of divination. Glory be to God. She was speaking truth. She was speaking truth. However, she was possessed by the wrong spirit. Glory be to God. And eventually she had to be rebuked. So there are spirits that follow different offices. There's some of you calling yourself a prophet. You have not been called to the office of the prophet. Being able to prophesy does not mean that you are called to the office of the prophet. You can have the spirit of prophecy. You can have the gift of prophecy. You can have the word of prophecy or you can have the office of a prophet. They are all different. That's right. I hear the Lord say, glory be to God. Back to this apostle. You are called to the office of the apostle. Glory be to God. But I hear God say you have gotten derailed. You have gotten sidetracked. You have gotten into circles. Yes. That are really demonic circles. I didn't say cycle. I said circles. Which means you've gotten around people. That you have connected yourself to people. That God did not ordain for you to be connected to. My God almighty. Come on. <clears throat> I hear the Lord say. Come out from among them. And be separate. Says the Lord. Glory be to God. Because he wants to anoint you. That you can walk powerfully in signs and wonders. Matter of fact, the healing anointing is strong on you. Yes. Glory be to the Holy Ghost. Amen. But I hear God say, get back into right alignment. Realign. Yes. Like that wheel. Yes. When the car 
is out of alignment and the wheels are wobbling and the, the steering wheel is shaking. God says, get back into right alignment. You've gotten derailed. Glory be to God. Because he wants to use you greatly. You are truly called as an apostle in the office of the apostle. Glory be to Jesus. So I hear the Lord saying to you, he said, my grace is being extended to you even now. Yes. Matter of fact, I hear the Holy Ghost say, he said, I'm waiting on you. Glory be to God. Get back into right positioning. Glory be to God that you can walk in the fullness and the power of your call and of your office Amen. as an apostle. Glory be to Jesus. I want to pray for those of you who are watching and maybe I want you to talk a little bit about the kingdom. Yes. Glory be to God. But I want to pray for those of you who are saying, prophetess, my God, I'm hearing you. Listen, I'm not releasing this word tonight for fear. First Timothy chapter uh, one, I think it is, verse seven. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Glory be to God, but a power of love and of a sound mind. So as a child of God, as a Christian, as a kingdom citizen, fear is not a part of your agenda. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so if information is bringing fear to you, then you need to check your relationship with God. Glory be to God, because he who is born of God, hallelujah, knows no fear. For God is love, and in him there is no fear. Glory be to God. And he who feareth, says John, Apostle John, is not made perfect in love. Glory. In other words, you're not matured in God. Glory be to Jesus. And so therefore, you're listening to me. And you say, prophetess, I hear you. I hear this strong and powerful word tonight. Glory be to God. And I want you to pray for me. I want you to pray for me. You may not even be in sin. You may not be in a backsliding condition. You may just be out of position. Yes. Glory be to God. The Lord wants you to get back in right positioning with him. Glory be to Jesus. And so if that's you, you don't have to put your name on the screen. Just stretch your hands towards your device, wherever you're watching me, whatever you're watching me on. Glory be to God. Just stretch your hands. Hallelujah. As a form of agreement or as a sign of agreement. Glory be to God. Even as we pray. Glory be to God. And after apostle is finished, I'll come back and lead those of you who don't know Jesus will lead you to the Lord because that is the greatest miracle. That is the real reason we're on earth. We're not on earth to amass wealth. We're not on earth to look good. I know we preach this lopsided message. Boy, you got to look good so that they can know that you belong to Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. We're on earth for that. We're on earth to expand the kingdom and the kingdom is expanded through the winning of souls. Glory be to God. So we are on earth or are on earth as ministers of reconciliation. We're called to reconcile man back to God. Glory be to Jesus. So you're watching me and you say, you know what? I've gotten out of position. Glory be to God. As our apostle has instructed, I've gotten out of position. Pray for me so that I can get back in the position right. that I should right. be right. in. Glory <laughs> be to God. Right alignment once again so that I can effectively fulfill my purpose and walk in destiny. That's you, just stretch your hands towards the screen or towards your television or towards your, whatever you're watching me on. Glory be to God, stretch your hands, right hand in particular, glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up every individual that's watching us, that's stretching their hands in agreement, glory be to God. I lift them up before you now. Father, you see their hearts. You hear the cry of their hearts. You know what they're going through. You see their lives. Glory be to Jesus. Father, it is your will, glory be to God, that we walk in our purpose, that we fulfill our purpose, yes. that we bring honor to your kingdom by expanding yes, your work on earth. Lord God, it is the enemy's plan to derail us. It is the enemy's plan to throw us off our game. It is the enemy's plan to cause us to be unfruitful, knowing that your number one instruction to us was and is to be fruitful and to multiply. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I curse every spirit of stagnation. I curse every spirit, glory be to God, of misalignment. Glory be to God. Yes. I curse every spirit that the enemy has sent against your people yes. to stop Amen. them from moving forward. Amen. I curse that in the name of Jesus.
Father, I speak right now in particular to the apostle. Glory be to God. I lift him up before you. Father, I ask right now that you would speak unto his heart. Yes. Speak to him clearly. Speak yes, to Lord. him directly yes, concerning his purpose. Father, let him get back in position. Glory be to God. I pray, Father, that you would touch even the young people that are watching this right now. Touch them. Let them know that you've called them to do a specific work. You've not called them just to live or to exist, yes. but you've called them to fulfill purpose. Yes. Now, Father, I pray that you would strengthen them. Glory be to God that they would do what you've called them to do because they are part of the Joshua generation. And you said that you've called them because they're young and they are strong. Father, raise up young ministers. Glory be to God like never yet before all across the world that would do your will, that would expand your kingdom, that would run after their purpose. Oh, glory be to God. That would win lost souls in particular in their generation to you. Father, I pray right now that you would strengthen those hands that are weak. For there are many that have their hands lifted, but they are weak. They are weak through years of ministry. They are weak through years of toil. Father, encourage them now by your spirit. And God, I go to them in the spirit and I hold up their hands. Yes. Even as Aaron and her held up Moses' hand. I hold up their hands in the spirit. Father, that they would be able to fulfill and finish. Glory be to God what you've called them to do. I thank you for it now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everybody say amen. 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 Go ahead, baby, God and just God. talk Praise for a little God. bit. I thank God for glory be to Jesus. What God is, how God is using us. Thank you, sweet uh, Holy to Spirit, bring, to bring um, change and and um, um, bring motivation to yes. those who are who are seeking the kingdom. Jesus, now, what about to say? Has I'm speaking to a specific people. Yes, this may not apply to everybody. However, however, it, it was uh, uh, applied to a specific people in the body of Christ. Yes. I'm talking about that person who has been around for 20 years or more. Mm. You've been from one conference to the next. My Lord. You've been from one program to the next. You heard some awesome preaching, some of the best preaching. You've been from one Bible study to the next. You've been from one prayer meeting to the next. But however, something you said something is wrong. My Lord. There's an emptiness. Yes. You know, um, you, you, you act the part. You look like church. You act like church. You shout like church. You pray like church. Come on, apostle. But however, the, somehow, the, you feel like the church is not in you. My God. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you Holy know, Ghost. This, I know, I, you, you're not the only one, sister. You're not the only one, brother. My Lord. There, there are many people out there who are faking this thing. Mm. But I, I, I have good news for you. Because I was, I was like that myself mm -hmm. one time ago. I was just here and there searching and praying and things. But, but nothing really happened because I realized that I was searching the wrong place. My Lord. Luke 12 and 33 says, it says Fear not, little flock, for it is the Father's good pleasure. <coughs> yes, it is. To give you the kingdom. Yes. He said, well, he said it's the Father's good pleasure. I said to fear not. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have it all together. You don't be acting spooky. Like you save, you, 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 you save, um, you're more safe than anyone else, you're more to live than anyone else. You don't have to be a father, fair not. So it is it is the father's good pleasure. Good pleasure. Another version said it is the father great. Give the father great happiness. My God, yes. To give you the kingdom. Yes. The reason why we have felt this the wrong thing, my Lord, the wrong place. Mm. How could we seek that which we already have? Oh, you better come on with it. Because um, and, and and also in Luke it says that um, the, the the kingdom of God is not of not come with observation. Right. You can't say it here, and there. You can't find it. Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you. Yes. It has been in within you for 20 years now. Happy Jesus. My God. The thing is, what are you going to do with it? Come on now. How can I activate it? Yes. 
The kingdom of God is only activated when we do God's will. Right. When we walk in his purpose. Yes. I remember Dr. Dr. Um, Miles Monroe said that the grave is the, is the richest place in the world. It sure is. Because I'm not, I'm not there laying down asleep with, with potential. A potential has gone to sleep. My God, watch it now. Potential has gone to sleep in the, in the church because we fuse the, 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 the fire that we're looking for mm. within us. My Lord. You're not going to find the kingdom here and there. You're going to find it within you. But how do, how, like I said, how do you activate it? By doing God's will. How do you do God's will? By finding purpose. What has God called you to do? Right. A God called you to go from this program to that program? This prayer meeting to that prayer meeting? Right. Come on, Apostle. What is called you to do? Yes. In this life. Come coupled with your purpose is power. Oh, I like that. The trumpet over scorpions and demons. Luke 10, 90. Yes. He has, he has, he, he has, he, he, um, the kingdom equips you with authority. Yes. Whereby to accomplish purpose. Mm. Now, I've been looking at the Robbie say, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek, and, and, and all his righteousness. What do you mean by that? Seek the culture of the kingdom. Right. Seek the way the kingdom works. Yes. You know, um, you, you don't you don't just um, um, get up, become kingdom. You, you have to learn kingdom. Mm. You have to put it on. Yeah. You have to put on. You have to put on God's glory. My Lord. You have to put it on. And the thing about it, when 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 we get it, it takes you all around the world. I have I never seen a king or a prince who is stagnant. Every time I see a. a a king or a prince, they're, they're international people, they're traveling, or a touch of kingdom. They're doing something. Uh, right, they're doing something for the kingdom. A touch of kingdom will literally take you all around the world. You will take territories by what you say. Yes. The kingdom of God will become, will be, is demonstrated by what you say. Right. But the problem is we're not saying nothing. Mm. We're talking religion. Talking about what happened um, um, last year, a couple of years ago. The kingdom of God is always in the, the now. now. That's always right. in the now. Amen. You say, I hope I saw the Spirit, Lord, what you're saying now to me. Holy Spirit, activate this kingdom in me. Yes. Lord, so I may do your will. So your kingdom may come, your will may, may be done on earth as it is in heaven. In this earth as it is in heaven, Lord. Mm. Stop looking yourself in the mirror, stop hating yourself. Mm. Find out who you are. In Christ yes. by seeking the kingdom. Find out who you are in Christ by walking in the manifestation of the kingdom. Right. Signs and miracles. Wonders. Yes. Amen. This is the kingdom of God. That's right. Amen. The kingdom of God is within you. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, I like that. And the kingdom of God is um, um, as, uh, as based on, on signs, wonders, and miracles. Mm. Amen. This is within you. I remember the Holy Spirit told me that the other day, and I shared it with, with a um, class the other day. I was meditating. The Holy Spirit said, Look, here, I gave Moses a rod. Mm. And he gave, and he did great exploits. With a rod. With a rod. Yes. He patted the Red Sea. That's right. He's pointed. He embarrassed the Egyptians. My God. With a rod. There you go. Because God was with him. Yes. God said, Look here. Something greater is here. I've given you my kingdom. My God. What are you going to do with it? Yes. Mm, I like that. What are you going to do with it? God says he's given you his kingdom. What are you going to do with it? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to stay uh, stagnant? You're going to act like nothing happened? You know something? Those people who are stagnant, they're not really saved anyhow. They're backslidden. They don't even know it. My Jesus. There are people who, who, who start off so awesome, sitting down in the pew. For 20 years, they've lost hope. They've, they've, they've lost their weight. Because, because they, 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 they fail to find out the kingdom that's within them. Mm. To ascertain, to activate the kingdom that was in them. That yes. is within them. Yes. Amen? Amen. Activate the kingdom that is within you. How do we do it? Prayer. To pray. To praying. Fasting. And speaking. Declaring who you are. Yes, knowing the word. Declaring who you are. No word, no power. 
No word, no voice of God. Because the more words you have in you, the more words you meditate in you, will eventually come out of you. Right. Out of the bottom of the heart, the mouth speaking. You are what you think. You have to become the word. Right. Wherever you become, that's not what you're going to speak. Now, who are you? Mm, I like that. Are you the conversation that goes on at work? Are you the conversation? Are you the person? Are you the perfect mom? Perfect dad? And that's it? How about being a great, an awesome, a great kingdom citizen? That only happens when we activate the kingdom that's within us. Yes. I want you to do it now. Yes. Amen. In Jesus' name, what you think? Amen. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Praise God. To God be the glory. I like that. I like this. See why I'm so excited to have my husband whenever he gets to come on with us. I am just so, so excited, Apostle. Oh, my goodness. Activate the kingdom that's already on the inside yes. of you. Glory be to God. And as he shared this revelation the Lord gave to him uh, the other day, he said, you know what, baby? He said, he said, Moses did all of that great stuff that he did with a rod. Oh, my God. That's right. And guess what? Came upon him. Holy Spirit came upon them. That's right. <laughs> Holy Spirit came within us, we That's all right. know, in the book of Acts. That's right. Glory be to God. But they did great exploits. So just like he said, Moses did all of that with a rod. That's right. We now have the kingdom, glory be to God, with the representation of the king, who is Holy Spirit, That's right. living on the inside of us. Yes. And yet we are doing nothing. Nothing. Wow. That Jesus. is an indictment. Oh, Jesus. Help Jesus. Us. You see why teaching is so important help to the body us. of Christ? Help us, Jesus. My God Almighty. So go forward and ask Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit. Yes. Show me. Yes. Teach me. How or help me. Yes. To activate the kingdom. That's on the inside of me. Yes. I love that. Yes. That is awesome. Yes. Glory be to God. This is time for the church to rise. Yes, it is. This is time for the church to become powerful. Yes. Not empowered. We're already empowered. Holy Spirit is living on the inside yes. of us. We have to now become powerful in manifestation. Yes. In other words, begin to do great exploits. Yes. Glory be to God. And just like Apostle Dion said, no word, no power. And I go add on to that, no word and prayer, no power. That's right. Well, actually, you can only pray powerfully if the word is there. Ah, come on now. Glory be to God. So you've got to have that word on the inside of you, who is Jesus Christ yes. himself. Yes. Wow, I'm excited. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to bring you back one day just to talk about the kingdom. I'll give you a whole hour. I won't prophesy All that right. day. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a whole program. I'll just introduce you and just let you run with it. Okay. My husband is so power packed. He is just full. Glory be to God with the knowledge of the kingdom. And we get this every Tuesday night in our kingdom Bible study. So you, if you are in New Providence, join us. Join us here at Kingdom Explosion Ministries International on Jerome Avenue. Amen. Glory be to God upstairs in the Bahama Engines Plaza. Glory be to God. Join us. You may not be able to come every Tuesday, but at least one Tuesday out of the month. Join us. Trust me, your life will be blessed. You know what? We hear in too much preaching, not enough teaching. And most of the preaching we hear, and I talk about the body of Christ, most of the preaching we hear and ain't got no substance, no how. It's hype. Glory be to God. And I don't care how much you say you're preaching with fire. If you ain't got no substance, you ain't got no fire. You got plenty noise. Yeah. That's what you got. Glory be to God. Because the fire, glory be to God, purges, purifies, but it also empowers and prepares for you to function in power. Yes. Glory be to God. <laughs> so the fire comes upon you so that you can do great exploits. Amen. Remember? Cloven tongues of fire came upon those in the upper room. Yes. But they had to come out of the upper room to do great exploits. Yes. Glory be to God. So join us here every Tuesday night if you can, or some Tuesday nights if you can, or one Tuesday night if you can, Amen. here at Kingdom Explosion Ministries International. Nassau on New Providence, Bahamas, on Jerome Avenue. Yes. Glory be to God. We'd love to have you. Yes, we will. Glory be to God. If it's your yes, first yes. time, make sure let our Ministry of Helps personnel know. And we'd love to just shake your hand. Glory be to God and welcome you into our sanctuary and welcome you most certainly and give God thanks for you. Amen. 
Listen, tomorrow night, glory be to God, is going to be awesome here in the house at Kingdom Explosion Ministries International. That is our prophetic fire service. Glory be to God. But we are going to ask everybody that attends, please bring a white prayer shawl. Now, it doesn't have to be the Jewish prayer shawl if you don't have that. We don't want you to put yourself in no expenses. A lot of people are calling me, are texting me today and saying, Prophetess, where can I get a white prayer shawl from? You don't have to go out there and look for the expensive one because I know sometimes they, they can run into probably $100 or so. You don't have to do that. You could just get a regular shawl. You know the regular shawl you put around you? Glory be to God. Once it's white, all white, glory be to God. God is going to, to move in this service. It's going to be a service of consecration. Glory be to God. It's going to be a service of prayer. It's going to be a service of great manifestation. So that's tomorrow night. So listen, if you're sick, make your way here to Kingdom Explosion Ministries International on Jerome Avenue. If you're bound, glory be to God. Deliverance takes place at every yeah. service. Yeah. Glory be to God. We are called, hallelujah, Luke 10 and 19, to take power over the enemy. Glory be to God. So if you're bound, if you're tormented, glory be to God, find your way here. Make your way. Come early so you get a good seat at Kingdom Explosion Ministries International on Jerome Ave Avenue in Nassau, Bahamas, upstairs in the Bahama building or the Bahama Engines building, right on the traffic light. You can't miss us. Glory be to God. And the minute you basically approach uh, uh, the second half of Jerome Avenue, you'll see the cars, you'll see the vehicles, and so you'll know where we're at. We'd love to have you tomorrow night. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be awesome. My God, the presence of the Lord. I, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to blow it up, but don't miss it. Be in the house. Amen. Glory be to God. And I know some persons already WhatsApp me and said, Providence, I can't come because I'm not in the Bahamas or I'm not in New Providence. Are you going to be live? Glory be to God. I'm not going to say yet. Make your way in the house. But for those who are outside of the Bahamas, we're going to work something out for you. Or outside of New Providence, we're going to work something out for you. <laughs> but tomorrow night, Lord Jesus, I feel a crazy anointing already. It's going to be strong. It's going to be powerful. But more than anything else, God is going to get all the glory. So if persons are not saved, bring them. If they're sick, bring them. Amen. If they're bound and need to be delivered, demons need to be cast out, bring them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you're down, you feel defeated, come in the house tomorrow night, Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Kingdom Explosion Ministries International on Jerome Avenue, our prophetic fire service. Bring yourself a white shawl. Glory be to God. And uh, most certainly, we'll give directions uh, during the service. So again, we thank you so much for joining us uh, on Moments with the Prophetess. It was so good to have my wonderful husband. Put the camera on him. It was so good to have God Apostle Dion Warren Amen. Smith with God. us. Amen. Nice Glory be to God. My husband is the teacher. I'm the preacher. But listen, I, you know, I, I just, to be honest with you, I sit at his feet. Because sometimes when the Lord, before he even brings it to the church, he would say, baby, you know, this is what the Lord is saying to me. And I just sit up in the bed, sometimes we're home, and I'll just listen or I'll sit next to him and I'll say, really? And, and then sometimes, you know, you say lie. <laughs> sometimes prophetess in the bottom of use the word teeth. Sometimes prophetess is teeth. Some of them revelation and go preach it. <laughs> Okay. okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's okay. For those of you who are watching that I made steal. <laughs> Glory be to God. But I love the Lord. We love the Lord. Most certainly we love all of you. Glory be to God. It doesn't matter whether you're friend of, or enemy. We still love you. Hey, we got to love you to go to heaven. Glory be to God. And guess what? We're praying for you. Whether you're friend or foe, we're praying for you. Glory be to God. Because listen, hell is a real place. Yes. We don't want you to go there. I don't want my greatest enemy to end up in hell. No. Oh my God, it's a serious place. Glory be to God. So those of you who are watching us, hallelujah. And for those of you, I just felt this, so I need to say it. For those of you who think that hell is not real, well, you know what? You don't think hell is real. You keep living the way you are. Eventually, you're going to find out. Glory be to God. The sad thing is that when you find out, it'll be too late. Wow. Glory be to God. 
And so therefore, make Jesus your choice. Yeah, Glory Jesus. be to God. And do it before you leave this earth. Yes. Because after that, there's no more hope. Yes. Glory be to God. So those of you who are watching us live and you say, Prophetess Patrice, I don't know Jesus yeah. as my Savior, as my Lord. And I like to say this as my friend. But I want to know him. I want to give him my life. I want to serve him. I want to rejoice in him. Somebody called me the other day and they said, Prophetess, I won't be like you. You you so joyful. I I it was a young person. And she said, I, I want to be like you. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. I get that all the time. My God. But I give God thanks and praise that uh, uh my life is infectious. And that's how we are to be. As kingdom citizens, we should infect somebody else. Look at that. This spirit, the coronavirus, because that's what it is. The spirit is infecting so many people, but the body of Christ is sterile. Look at that. Yeah. We're supposed to be infectious. Glory be to God. Wherever we go, hallelujah, what is on us, it's supposed to rub off on somebody else. Right. Amen. It's called kingdom advancement. And so you're watching me and you say, I want to know Jesus as my savior, as my Lord, as my friend. Glory be to God. And you're serious about it. You really want to serve him. Hallelujah. Just put your name on the screen if you don't mind. If you mind, don't worry about it. But if you don't mind, put your name on the screen. You have family members that are unsaved. Put their name on the screen. Say, Prophetess, pray for me and pray for my family. Yeah. Pray for them. Put their names on the screen. Glory be to God. We'll pray and ask God. Hallelujah. To soften their hearts. Hallelujah, Jesus to cause them to be so convicted by Holy Spirit yeah. that they would yield to him no matter where they are. They'll throw up their hands and say, I cannot go or run in sin any longer. Thank Glory be you. to God. So stretch your hands towards the screen. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. And repeat after me as we're about to go off air. Glory be to God. Repeat after me, everybody. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. I confess, I confess I've sinned, I've, sinned. I've, fallen I've fallen short of the glory of God, of the glory of God. But, I but I believe that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ came, to this earth, came to this earth in the flesh, in the flesh. Died, for me. died for me. I believe, I believe he, rose he rose again. I believe, I believe he, ascended he ascended into heaven. He's, He's now interceding for me. Therefore, Therefore on, that belief, on that belief and on that premise, I ask, Jesus, I ask Jesus, come into my heart, come into my heart. Be, the my be the Lord of my life, be the Savior of my, soul. Savior of my soul, forgive me of all of my, forgive sins. Me all of my sins, I confess, I confess. From, this forward, from this moment forward, I will serve him, will serve him with, him. with my, whole heart. my whole heart. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus for, becoming my Lord. for becoming my Lord, from this moment from forward, this moment forward. I'll, become I'll become a living witness of your love, of your, love. Your, grace, your grace, your mercy. Your mercy. Your in Jesus, name. in Jesus name thank you father Amen. all right there you go thank you <laughs> to God be all the glory I don't know why I laugh so much I, I just I, I get excited about the things of the Lord glory be to Jesus I thank God for every last one of you that gave your life to the Lord you are so special to God trust me and the angels are now rejoicing because you gave your life to the Lord welcome to the family of God Trust me, this is the best decision you will ever make. Yes. You won't regret it. From this moment forward, your life will become better. Yes. So we give God praise for you. And again, for those of you who are watching us, hallelujah, wherever you're watching us from all around the world, yes. and you want to be a blessing to this ministry, yes. give us a call. Yes. Area code 242-823-6498. Yes. If you're in the Bahamas, 823 six four nine eight yes. you can also send us a whatsapp on that number as well eight two three six four nine eight outside of the bahamas just append the two four two thank you again so very much for watching moments with the prophetess i know you were blessed tonight listen i was blessed myself in particular by that word by apostle dion thank you so very much let us know you can call us on that same number let us know that you were blessed and most certainly for prayer and for counseling. If you'd like, you can call us on that same number. Amen. 
will be so happy to speak with you. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. And until next week, Wednesday, join us again. We say good night for now. Good night. Know that we love you. Know that we're praying for you. Say good night, Apostle. Good night, everybody. God bless. Yes. See thank you, you all so very much. And we'll see you all next Wednesday on Moments with the Prophetess. Amen. Hey, please keep us covered. Yeah. We need it. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening.